Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about a, a theorem that based on reduced residue modulo. In our last class, we clearly discussed the definition of reduced residue modulo set. Please watch that class and come back here because the understanding the definition is very, very important to understand this theorem. Completely based on that. And in our previous classes, we already discussed some properties of GCD and congruence. They are also we are going to use here. Before we move on to the theorem, let's try to understand the theorem in numerical way so that it is very easy to understand the theorem. And we are going to use this theorem in our next class when we discuss about Euler's theorem. So coming to the, what we are going to do here is, let's take this reduced residue modulo reduced residue modulo of 20 equal to so what is the set that belongs to reduced residue modulo of 20 1 3 7 9 11 13 17 19 this is the set that belongs to 20 means gcd of 1 comma 20 is 1 gcd of 3 comma 20 is 1 gcd of 7 comma 20 is 1 this is what reduced residue modulo is you take any number that is you take 21 you take 41 if the GCD of 21 comma 20 is equal to 1, then if you do the modulus operation with 20, you are going to get one of the number in this set. 1, 21 modulus 20, which is 1, 23 modulus 20, which is 3. That is what reduced residue modulus set is. So if you take this, if you take a reduced residue modulo set, let assume that A is equal to 21. This is and the numbers are given like this 1, 3, R1, R2, R3, R4, so on up to R8. Let assume that A is equal to 21 and GCD of 21 comma 20 equal to 1. If this happens, if A comma M, if you assume that 20 is M, A comma M is equal to GCD of A comma M is equal to 1 then we need to show that AR1, AR2, so on up to AR8. This is also providing us a reduced residue modulo set with respect to the modulo M operation. This is what we need to show. Yes, it will provide you that reduced residue modulo set. Let's try to understand with the, let's take an example, A is equal to 21, GCD of 21 comma 20 is equal to 1. So, A 21 multiplied by 1 which is 21, 21 multiplied by 3 which is 63, 21 multiplied by 7 which is 147. Like this, these are the numbers we got AR1, AR2, so on up to AR8. So 21 modulus 20 which is 1, 63 modulus 20 which is 3, 147 modulus 20 which is 7, 189 modulus 20 which is 9, 231 modulus 20 which is 11 we got same as reduced residue modulo set. In this example, we got exactly in the sequence, but in some examples, one comes here, seven comes here like that, but you are going to get a complete re reduced residue modulo set. This is what we need to show mathematically. If a GCD of a comma m is equal to one, AR1, AR2, so on, ARN is providing the same reduced residue modulo set. So you understand the definition now. Now let's try to understand. Let A comma M is equal to 1. Here A comma M means GCD of A comma M is equal to 1. Let R1, R2, so on, RN is the reduced residue modulo M. Then show that AR1, AR2, ARN, so on is also a reduced residue modulo with respect to the modulo M. So, from in our previous classes, we already discussed that the GCD property, one of the GCD property we discussed, suppose if a, GCD of A comma M equal to 1 and GCD of B comma M equal to 1, then we can write it as GCD of AB comma M is equal to 1. This mathematically we have shown in our previous classes, derivation, GCD property. This derivation we are going to use here, see here. What is reduced residue modulo R1, R2, so on, Rn? All these are 
GCD of R1, comma M is equal to 1. GCD of R2, comma M is equal to 1. See, Ri, comma M equal to 1. GCD of Ri, comma M is equal to 1. So, same as, same as GCD of A, comma M is equal to 1. It was given that if A, comma M is equal to 1, then we can write it as GCD of ARI, comma M equal to 1. Why we have written that? Because we need to show that all these are ARI values, ARI values. The GCD of ARI comma M is equal to 1. For that only we are going to write the reduced residue modulo set. From the definition of reduced residue modulo. So that's why this happens from the property of GCD. Now it is enough to show that. See what, what we are doing here is R1, R2, so on, Rn, AR1, AR2, ARN, so, so on, up to so ARN. If the modulus of AR1, AR2 is different, if this the modulus of these two values are same, then we are not able to get the reduced residue modulus set. Because in the reduced residue modulo, the modulus of the of this 1, 3, 7, the modulus values are different. Modulus of 20 values are different. The same way AR1, AR2, so on, ARN, the modulus of all these values should be different. Then only we are going to get that these values are providing reduced residue modulo. So, so for that reason, we are we need to show that ARI modulus. See, we need to show that ARI modulus M not equal to ARJ modulus M. If we are able to show this, then we can say that this is going to provide you reduced residue modulo set. ARI modulus M not equal to ARJ modulus M if i not equal to j if you are able to show this then definitely it is going to provide you the reduced residue modulo set so now in order to show this in order to show this statement we are going to show this using contradiction means in opposite way here we are assuming that ari congruent to arj mod m means ari modulus m equal to arj modulus m we are assuming that uh, these two are equal. So from the definition of, from the properties of congruence, from congruence properties, uh, we can cancel A, A. This A and A get cancelled. Why we, why we can cancel this? We can cancel only if A modulus M equal to 1, then only we can cancel that in congruence. But it was given that a comma m gcd of a comma m is equal to 1 so that's why we can cancel gcd of a comma m is equal to 1 then we can cancel on both sides so from our assumption it was given that r i congruent to rj mod m which is a contradiction all r1 r2 rn all these are different this is what our example is these two are not going to be equal. So our assumption is wrong. Means ARI not congruent to ARJ mod M. You take any IJ values from the reduced residue modulus. So from this we, we are able to show that ARI modulus M not congruent to ARJ modulus M for any IJ. If IJ are different then definitely the modulus value is going to be different. Hope you understand the theorem. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.